are learning what the future could hold for Chinook Pier and Grand Haven. City leaders in the community saw plans from developers at two meetings today. It comes almost two years after the buildings were demolished because of dangerous mold. 13 on your side's Andrea Flores is here now with details. Juliet, Grand Haven residents and visitors had the opportunity tonight to ask the developers questions and city leaders want everyone to remember that the plans proposed are not set in stone just yet. We've gleaned some good ideas with community members input. Dozens of people tuned into two Zoom presentations Thursday. People really want a place to go all times of the year. To hear the proposal of a restaurant, retail space, and a multi-use market at Chinook Pier. So we want to get it right. We're only going to get one chance to do it, at least in this generation. Uh, so City Council received a single proposal to put a development down in that area. The City of Grand Haven received a proposal from Midwest Construction Group, Gearlings Development, Architectura, and Abon Marsh. City Manager Pat McGinnis says questions from the community ranged from things like parking and size. One person would like to know how large each of the buildings are. To the durability of the new buildings after the last ones were demolished in 2020 because of dangerous mold. Now for generations to come, there's no reason these buildings properly built with the proper attitude towards the moisture and the likelihood of high water. Uh, these will be resilient buildings that will stand the test of time. These designs are still a work in progress. McGinnis says both making sure this area and the water remains publicly accessible and keeps its natural beauty is important to city council. Accenting, complementing the waterfront, the natural beauty, not overwhelming it with uh, uh, you know, high density investment seems to be something most people agree on. Within the next month or so, City Council will discuss whether or not they'll move forward with this proposal, and within the next year, they'll work out the logistics of funding and a construction timeline. So hopefully our great-great-grandchildren will still be enjoying whatever we decide to do today, which is why we're willing to take the time that's needed to, to get it right. The entire project based on this proposal would cost $2.5 million, and if City Council wants to move forward, construction could start as early as next year. Juliet. Andrea, thank you.